Hi, DG Dino here from Jinxer Games. I just want to show you some new actions that I have made. That are these: get key from string, get key down from string, get key up from string, and get key code to string. The first three they do the same as get key, get key down, and get key up, except the difference is uh, this part. So here I need to choose a key and then I'm stuck with it. Um, with get key from string I can just place a key code here and you can look here on the website here from Unity Docs uh, on the key code. You can look here what keys uh, you can use and for example I have here the keypad enter and that's the number keypad enter. I can copy this then I can place this here and this needs a bool so now this is connected to keypad enter um, you can also use of course a string variable and that's with these three all the same then the get key code to string I can store a string uh, let's put this to string so when I press any key um, also uh, joystick buttons and mouse buttons work uh, it will store it to this string and um, then I can use this in to these uh, other actions or if you need it for something else also possible and I will show you now how this works. By the way, this is a Tetris game uh, tutorial that I'm working on. And it will be on my website on jinxthegames.com. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to the website. And I'll press pause now. And I can click one of these buttons. For this one for example and then I press a key I press a okay. and it changes to a uh, the other one I can change to okay. J and let's say I press for the mouse okay. button and ah, no, no, no. Okay. anytime I can change I don't have a joystick connected so I can show you that but um, now when I continue playing I have to use A and J to go left and right and when I change them back again now uh, okay. Okay. I'm using the left and right arrow and one more time okay. when I use mouse button I need to click my mouse to go left and this to right so as you see that can be very useful to um, customize uh, input and I saved this in player prep, so it, when you restart the game, it's um, still the same with the last settings that the player has made. So, well, that's about uh, it for these actions. And I hope you can use these actions. And if you have any problems with it, please let me know on the forum. And thank you for watching.